Hi everyone, it's Tammy here. I am at the airport uh, and wanting to share with you uh, kind of some updates on Lucy. Sorry I don't have a TWS shirt on, uh, but I packed all my TWS clothes uh, to have, um, have them clean for the pickup at Lucy tomorrow. Uh, Lu Lucy tomorrow. So here's kind of the update. I'm at the airport, as you can see. Um, a lot has happened over the last 24 hours. Uh, all good. Uh, as you guys know, we're bringing Lucy, a tiger from Argentina home. We were first contacted about Lucy, um, I mean, in 20, probably 2014, when we were contacted about bringing lions uh, to the sanctuary from Buenos Aires Zoo, since they were um, becoming more eco-friendly and developing eco-parks instead of um, zoos and so at that time it was easier to get permits for lions um, and that they could come in a shorter period of time and we thought that they would found placement for their tigers uh, and other country sanctuaries that would make it um, quicker for them to move so in 2018 uh, the lions came you know seven lions came and then in 20 21 we were reached out that Lucy and Violetta two remaining and final tigers at the Mendoza Zoo never were placed um, and they couldn't find homes for we asked if our sanctuary would accommodate those tiger um, those tigers and of course we said yes sadly Violetta passed of old age before she could make the trip um, but today is a big day because Tiger Lucy will be coming home and it's been a big trip. I want to thank um, everybody at the Mendoza Zoo and the animal welfare groups who made it possible uh, to get Lucy to us, to the sanctuary. They've been working hard. We're going to be posting some photos later today um, that was in the Mendoza media of her loading and everything. If you haven't, definitely join uh, I Love Wildcat Sanctuary's Facebook page as well, the group page, because I'm kind of doing some behind the scenes photos and updates there. Uh, but Judson and Dr. Campbell have made it to New York. They drove the rescue van and all the equipment there. So they're ready and staged. I'm flying in, I'm in the airport right now. We'll fly in tonight. Um, thank you, Sally, uh, who drove me to the airport today. And then I'm meeting Meredith. If you remember, Meredith helped us with the Ukraine um, rescue. And she's been doing a lot of the logistics and paperwork for me in New York. So she's gonna be meeting me in New York. Uh, tonight, our team will have a get together a meeting and talk about the staging area tomorrow. And tomorrow morning at around 7, 10 a.m., Lucy should be arriving at the JFK airport um, and we have to go through customs and there's a lot of logistics that goes through the permitting, the customs, um, our, you know, Dr. Campbell wants to make sure she traveled well. A huge shout out to Dr. Bergman and Turtleback Zoo, who um, Turtleback Zoo is keeping their vet hospital and everything open um, in New York in case there was an emergency and she needed to be seen. Um, and so it's taking a huge team uh, to make this happen. I have to thank Topper, one of our uh, special behind the scenes donors who's really helping with my flight and so many expenses and our conservation donations um, to make this permit possible. It is so much. I mean, to Marcy, who's donated to uh, have food for the staff on the trip and the trip back. And so all of you can help and be part of this rescue if you'd like. Uh, you can donate at the button below. Donate by calling 320-245-6871. Um, we're gonna have some expenses. Uh, Lucy is a senior tiger, a uh, geriatric tiger. Uh, originally, we thought both of the cats were between 18 and 20 years old um, when Violetta passed, we heard. The good news is, based on all the paperwork we've received, Lucy is a young 16 year old. <laughs> I know that might seem um, still senior and geriatric, but uh, compared to moving a 20 year old across country, uh, 7,200 miles to be exact, we will take a 16 year old any day. Um, we do know that she has her claws. I got to see some photos of her that she has her claws, which is great. We also know that she has severe arthritis and an elbow, um, and it's gonna need pain management. So your donations will definitely help with her pain management program. While I'm here and um, the rescue team's on the road, 
our caretakers, our interns are back at the sanctuary uh, getting her habitat ready. They're actually measuring the steps to make sure the steps are the right height for a cat with an elbow, um, putting down some soft substrate, planning though if she doesn't want to use her room the first few days that she's got warm bedding outside under a platform with a windbreak. Um, looking at everything she might need and, and we're hoping uh, since she lived next to Violetta for so many years before Violetta's passing this year. They never lived together, but they're on a shared wall that she will find kinship with older Pandora or even Winona, who's next door. So this is a big undertaking, um, so many years in progress, and we're so happy we can provide her a retirement home. Uh, Mendoza in Argentina, there are press stories all over about her already. I think there's six or seven been forwarded to me. Some media from, the Argent from Argentina has been reaching out to us. So um, it's a big story for them that the last big cat is moving out of that zoo that has been trying to place those animals for so many years. And thank you to them that wanting a better life for Lucy at our specialized sanctuary that can give her geriatric care and as an on-site vet team by Dr. Campbell, Dr. Camper, Elise, and all the volunteer vet techs. Um, I can't wait to see her. Um, I, I, they said she's been calm. She looks a little rough, but I mean, that can be just um, meaning damp, a little uh, disheveled, but she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. And once you see more photos of her, uh, we're already already in love with her. <laughs> and so it's just a kind of, it's really changing her life. And her life is a little turned upside down right now. And it's sometimes hard to celebrate this little win when I see what's going on in Florida and our hearts are out to all of our donors, our supporters, our sanctuary partners, um, all the dog and cat and farm rescues in Florida. I hope everybody is safe. Please know in the midst of everything we're doing, if there is any uh, organization that we can help their big cats um, or felids uh, in any way, please reach out to us. Uh, we are here to help. I know our staff wants to step up and help too. Luckily, we haven't received any emergency calls yet. Um, a lot of people that are great organizations uh, have some shelter in place and evacuation plans and um, you know plan for stuff like this, but this is catastrophic and um, we're here to help in any way we can. On top of all this, uh, we've welcomed three residents to our sanctuary over the last week that we will share with you next week, but uh, there's just been so much work going on, uh, so much saving going on, and so many more rescues in the pipeline, but we're very, very excited today. Uh, so we, what we know about Lucy, we know more about Lucy now, that she was transferred to this zoo from another zoo at three years old. We don't know that tr if that transfer was just to have a display animal or if she needed a home. We don't have those details. Uh, but that paperwork really confirmed that she is 16 years old, which is um, wonderful. That means hopefully we can give her many, many years of retirement at the sanctuary. Many, many years. Um, and then her eyes, we can see in some pictures, are a little cloudy. Uh, hopefully those are age-related changes, but you know Dr. Campbell will take a, a close look at her. Uh, once we see her to kind of see what it is. Doesn't seem she's having any visual impairment issues. Uh, so I'm gonna get ready to get on that plane and we'll do another live post tonight once we have our meeting to kind of uh, really roll out the details. I think um, I'm glad, very glad that we chose not to do Miami as an import city, which we've done with all the other Argentina cases. That would have been disastrous. Um, right now and she would have been probably stuck in Buenos Aires which would have been a sad thing. So New York is good but New York has its own challenges. It is a busy, busy city. Um, so that's why we were happy that we could bring the rescue van that you guys helped purchase and not the 20-foot trailer. Getting a 20-foot trailer and rig through New York during rush hour to the airport and everything like that would have been hard. It's hard enough to find uh, parking for the extra tall van um, but uh, that was a huge help. And then we have to go through Chicago on the way back. So we're hoping it's about a 20, 22 hour trip back, but it really depends upon traffic and anything else. So 
just wanted to give you guys an update. Stay tuned. Olivia's going to be posting some um, behind the scenes photos from Mendoza Zoo and their loading. Uh, Lucy and just thanks for being there with us. We will definitely proudly um, and humbly accept any donations uh, for this big case as well as the other cases we're working on. Um, and uh, thanks again for being part of the rescue team with us. We really appreciate it.